Hi, Roberto. Hi, Ken. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Today, Roberto is going to show us how to assemble and disassemble a thermoplastic magnetic drive turbine pump, HTT, PP, PVDF. Thank you. Place the external magnet on the motor shaft and secure the grub screw with the Allen key. When mounting the external magnet, make sure you line up the grub screw with a shaft groove. Then start assembling the pump. Position the front disc into the pump head, paying attention that the groove of the disc coincides with the insert of the pump head. Take the shaft and put it in the shaft seat of the pump head. Insert the PT FEC bearing into the internal magnet. Be careful to always verify the correct placement of the bearings and then use a hand press for the complete introduction into position. Place the rear disc on top of the internal magnet. Fix the impeller and press them together with the help of a hand press. Then put the internal rotor just assembled on the ceramic shaft. Be careful that the front disc and the rear discs have to be fixed correctly together according to their pins. Complete the assembly placing the ring on top of the shaft with the opaque side on the top. Add the O-ring to the rear casing and then place it on the pump head assembly. Position the assembly into the bracket. Be careful, the hole on the bracket should be on the opposite side of the connections. One pump connection has to be straight up and the other on the left side looking the front of the pump. Now put in the bolts and use the dynametric wrench for the correct strength and tighten the bolts in accordance with a chart that you can find in our instruction manual. During the coupling of the pump on the motor, pay attention to the magnetic attraction that can cause injury to fingers or hands. Fix the pump to the motor with the screws. And now we are going to disassemble the pump. First, remove the screws, securing the pump to the flange. Then separate the pump from the motor. If it is necessary to remove the external magnet from the motor shaft, loosen the grub screw with an Allen key and use a puller to avoid damage to the motor shaft or the external magnet. Then remove the bolts. Disassemble the pump head from the bracket of the pump. Remove the group of the internal rotor with the front and rear disc. The parts that can be periodically replaced to assure the correct functioning of the pump are O-ring, bearings. So when disassembling the pump, check the wear of these parts and the condition of the discs and impeller. Thank you very much, Roberto. For further information, visit us at www.gemicotti.com.